Everybody's got to have a job. Everybody's got to make money. You got to make money to eat. You got to make money to live. You got to make money to have a have a roof over your head. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes their job. We're all, I mean, that's why they got to pay us to do it. There are, I guess, there are a small handful of people, you know, that get paid to do what they love. And, um, you know, we call those people our assholes. We don't like any of them. They can go live their dreams somewhere else. Because they're jerk faces. But, uh, no, nobody likes their, nobody likes their, their work. That's why it's work. It's unenjoyable. It's, uh, it's untenable. You know, if we didn't have to make a living, if we lived in some utopia where just houses grew on trees and you could get whiskey from the river, or, you know, whatever weird metaphor that I'm going to make up uh, happens, then, then yeah, that's, that would be great. But that's not the reality we live in. We live in this reality. you got to get up and, and go to the coal mines um, and punch in and do your paperwork and your TPSs and your GPSs and your ASSs. It's work. If it was fun, you would pay them to do it. You know? It's how, uh, it's how the, the amusement park stays in business. But what's the reason? I don't think most people hate work, you know, if I'm being honest. I don't think it's the work that people hate. I think most people, I think most people hate their boss. May in here hate their boss? Hate your boss? I like my boss. Well, I've had good bosses. I've had bad bosses. You know, and you just deal with it. They come and go and, you know. The worst boss I ever had was just, just insufferable. And I think it was because this was a guy that uh, he had just started um, sleeping. And I don't mean that he was a crackhead. I think I could have dealt with a crackhead. But he had uh, a condition of sleep apnea, which is just like pro-snoring. Uh, I don't know if you ever know anybody with sleep apnea. Um, but if they're asleep, nobody else is. Because their brain case or whatever makes vacuum noises while they're trying to sleep. And they slowly suffocate um, while they're unconscious. And because of that, they don't get real rest. Right? When they track, when they do a sleep study, they're like, yeah, you're actually like stopping breathing in the middle of the night. And um, we're going to put this Darth Vader mask on you. And uh, you're going to like be able to live... As if on a respirator or an iron line. And uh, so because of this, my, my boss got real sleep for the first time in, you know, 25 years. And uh, he, was, he had sleep trackers and everything. He was like, yeah, I used to get, you know, an hour and a half of sleep a night. Now I'm getting seven, eight hours of sleep every night with, like, no interruptions. And it just turned him into an asshole. Um, and I don't mean like that just to me. Uh, he actually, he had just uh he ended up divorcing his wife, um, who his adult child uh, still lived at their house. He left their house. You know, it's a good night's sleep just destroyed everything that he had spent over two decades building. But what are you going to do? You know, you got to sleep. you got to work. Uh, well, I say you got to You have to at least go to work because he didn't work. You know, he spent more time than not uh, Spent more time than not just uh, dicking around in the shop. You know, I would, I would, I would come back just pouring sweat from actually doing stuff all day, and he would be building crap for his backyard. He spent a month building um, a framed-in, like one whole course of mini golf <laughs> that he put in his backyard just before divorcing his wife and leaving his house behind and then quitting his job. So I don't, it just, he went crazy. Like I'm telling you, he had dreams for the first time and was like, oh, this is what they're talking about. And then just lost his fucking mind. He used to, when he wasn't wasting company materials on, uh, on building stuff, he used to he used to just waste company time reading books. He read a lot of books, um, but only self help books, which was bizarre that somebody who you know didn't want to do anything you know work wise uh, 
would read self-help books. But I was, I was always interested, in, you know, supportive, hoping that maybe they would motivate him to you know, help me out. Um, but I guess not. They only helped himself, which was in the title. It made sense. But where did he get them? You know, I asked him one time where he got them. He said that they were in the same section at the bookstore as the, uh, the penthouse forums. I don't know if you guys ever... Yeah, it's like back back in my day, you didn't just have pornography all willy nilly everywhere. When you did, it was expensive. We used to read porn. That's what penthouse form is. People would just write in their fantasies as if it really happened, and then they bound them all in a book and sold them in a bookstore that your children could access. <laughs> but it was in the same section as this self help books, which is weird. And it's like, what is that section even called? Just handbooks? What you call that? I don't know. Just don't know. He tried to help me one time to, to tell jokes. Because I told him I was doing this. And he was like, uh, hey, I, you know, I, I was thinking about stand-up comedy. And I thought, that you know, you could use my help. This is what he's telling me. And, um, of course, I'm always appreciative of any extra effort. <laughs> especially from that guy. But he, uh, he goes... Here's a joke, you know, I think I got a joke for you. He goes, uh, you know those, when you, you, you go to the pet store, you know the betta fish? Like, yeah, I know what betta fish are. He's like, well, what's up with that? That was it. That was it. That was the whole joke. It was just like, he was confused about pets. And I was like, yeah, they're, they're just fish, man. Some people, they're kind of pretty. Put them in a bowl. You look at them. You pretend they can hear you. Unless you're Aquaman, and then they can. But no, it's just a... See, that's a joke. That's how it you know, set up, and then a punchline, and then somebody might laugh, or call you a racial slur, or whatever. But it, it, there's two parts to it, is what I'm getting at. He only had the one part. It's distressing. He also... Uh, he only watched one type of movie, which was weird. Because I'm a big movie buff, and I would come in and talk about Star Wars, and I'd talk about Indiana Jones, and I would talk about... Uh, the, the Godfather, or I would talk about just, uh, you know, I, whatever, Jaws, just movies. I like movies. And he'd be like, man, where do you find the time to watch all these movies? And I was like, well, you know, usually um, when I'm not uh, destroying a marriage. And uh, he, goes, he goes, well, you know, that's he watches movies. And I was like, well, what kind of movies do you watch? Who watches the one kind? Inspirational football movies. Not just inspirational movies. Not just football movies. Because that was, I was, I was like, maybe he just likes football. No, doesn't watch football. Maybe he just likes football movies. No, Longest Yard? Nope, that's a comedy. Get that out of here. I didn't even know what it was. We Are Marshall. Remember the Titans? Third movie here. Seen them all greatest movies he's ever heard of because he's never heard of any other movies i told him you know you know you should try you should try a classic try like star wars he said he got 15 minutes into it and uh he couldn't finish it and that was the first time that i contemplated murder <laughs> I didn't get it, but, you know, you just, what are you gonna do there's no accounting for bad taste but uh no i ended up leaving that job i got a different job now which is fine Got a different job. And I hate going to another job because you, you, you always feel dumb. You always feel like you forgot how to be a human being. Things that you do every day. You know, they'll be like, hey, we got to clean up this mess. Uh, I got the vacuum cleaner. You just go plug it up. And then your brain falls out of your ear and you're like, you want me to plug, plug it into the, into the socket? And of course, you're going to work with some smart ass, so they're going to go, no, no, let's plug it into your ass. And then they turn back around, and you've got a cord hanging out of your butt. And you're like, you're going to get fired. And I was like, no, let me just rinse it off. But, you know, we're going to want to dry it really good, because water and electricity, and they don't. Mm, safety third, I guess. 